community highlighting a judicial pioneer. She's known as the first black American and female federal judge, the first black woman to have argued a case before the United States Supreme Court and considered an unsung hero in the civil rights movement. Judge Constance Baker Motley is now the latest person to have their image on a black stamp series. Today, a special unveiling of the stamp happened in Charlotte. WBTV's Dedrick Russell was there and found the local connection between Motley and Charlotte's first black mayor. This unveiling of Judge Constant Baker Motley's stamp was special for Harvey Gant. I knew her personally, up close and personal, and saw the brilliance of this, this legal scholar, activist, civil rights activist, and ultimately judge. Gant met Motley when he was 19. She was on the legal team that fought to get him admitted to Clemson University. Gant says he tried five times to get admitted. The fifth time, Motley was on the case and helped Gant become the first black to go to Clemson. You meet a lot of people in life, and there are a few along the way that really make a difference. She inspired me to say, you know, she does what she's doing. I can, I can, I can win this thing at Clemson. I can be the student. I can graduate with honors. This unveiling ceremony was filled with memories. Judge Carla Archie told the crowd she remembers meeting Motley at a convention in 1998. I was telling her that I was a young lawyer and she was like, keep up the fight. Uh, even then, uh, do your best, um, keep your head up, um, stay focused. And so I have remembered uh, that encounter even to this day. Judge Motley was a giant in the legal world. Her resume includes defending Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., the Freedom Riders, and suing the University of Mississippi for refusing to admit a black student. I hope I hope that when kids look at that stamp or see that stamp, they will inquire and go online and figure out who she is and what she did. And she did a wonderful thing while she was living. Motley died in 2005. If she were alive today... I think she would be very proud of her own legacy, um, having opened the doors for so many students um, of color and minorities in general. Um, I think she would be still fighting uh, for equality and justice. Um, I think she would be disappointed by some of the decisions that have been rolled back, but I think she would be um, continuing to encourage us to keep up the fight um, and to continue to open doors for the next generation. Motley is the 47th person recognized in the Black Stamp series. A ceremony happened in D.C. back in January, but local organizers say another unveiling happens in Charlotte every year. We have to get the word out beyond Washington, D.C. We have to have local unveilings as well. We want to be sure that when there is a new stamp in the Black Heritage Series, that persons all over know about it. People now know about this judge, her work, and her mission. And it's a mission that sometimes went unnoticed. Women have not always been uh, given credit for what they do. And as a matter of fact, Constance Baker Motley uh, did not re receive uh, credit for all she did. She worked mainly behind the scenes. She set a great example for a lot of folks. Courage, tenacity, you name it. In our community, Dedrick Russell, WBTV, on your side tonight. What a legacy indeed. Dedrick, thank you. Coming up next.